What's up, New John Line guys? Welcome back to Diablo 3. This is chapter 27. When we last left off, we were in, uh... What are they called? The Keep's Depths. And we're bent boat to enter the larder. Yeah, I did everything else I wanted to do here. Let us be on the way. We are not alone in here. Kill Gom in the larder. <clears throat> the one who killed Lord Belial. I will save her, tearing the flesh from your bones. Okay. Good luck with that. Lord of Gluttony. of Asmodan's sin lieutenants, and he possesses no less than four mouths. Though his voracious appetite is certainly his greatest weapon, his bile and, well, other noxious excretions are equally lethal. When last seen in battle, the Lord of Gluttony swallowed half a dozen angels whole, spears and all. Spears and all. Do you have any family waiting for you back where you're from? <sighs> the human prisoners are panicking now. They must have noticed that fresh meat only comes after one of their number is dragged away, screaming. This will not hold. Slaughter the ones who starve themselves and feed them to their hungry friends. When those ones are fully stuffed, I will be ready to die. Oh shit. I could have had an offhand this entire time. Oops. Well, I'm gonna keep an eye out for one then. I am returning to town. I didn't even realize until now. Sorry about that. Take an actual break in a second too, but cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, let me. No, I don't even have it in the stash anymore. Shit. I was gonna say, let me pull out that necromancer thing that I had stashed away, but I don't. Hmm. I'll try selling this some stuff and see if I can sc scounge up the money, I guess. See if any of them have any. Got some new items you might need, friend. Friend. 
your new goods here. Never you mind where I got them. Got a new haul of goods today. Take a look. Has a free socket too, so I'll see if I can what I can put there. This is oops. Will give me extra intelligence. Um, yeah, I'm gonna actually pause, pause the recording, so I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. This should be the last of the interruptions for this recording session. Ah, Jesus. Uh, let's talk to the scoundrel real quick, then we'll talk to the quest giver and go from there. What are you doing with your riches, Lyndon? Living a life of depravity and overindulgence, naturally. Please. Fine. Perhaps I've found that my treasure is put to better use elsewhere. That sounds suspicious. We all have debts to pay, friend. Fair enough. So we at least have an offhand for our necromancer now. I, I completely didn't realize slash forgot that this is a one-handed weapon. So once I kind of clued into that. Terrifying noises were coming from the armory. So Tyriel went to investigate. You said if you were to return, I should send you there. All right, go to the armory. I am losing control. Kill the terror spawn. Soulstone seems stable now. The demon's rage has been subdued. Yes, but for how long? Our time grows short. We must take this fight to Asmodan. To the battlefield, then. Go through the area gate. <clears throat> I thought I was going to die when I saw the demon's rage escape from the Soulstone. Tyrion and my friend fought them. But I couldn't help. It was like I was watching them through a haze. What is the Soulstone doing to me? Asmodan must die soon. Then I will be myself again. Can you feel the keep shuddering? Asmodan's siege weapons. Saving these walls will have meant nothing if they're reduced to rubble. Indeed. I'll defend them. At last! <laughs> How did the eternal conflict begin? Since time immemorial, the forces of heaven and hell fought for control of the sacred world stone. Until the day it was stolen by renegades and used to forge your world. Since then, the forces of hell became more interested in corrupting mankind than in facing us on the field of battle. We are their new weapons. They knew that mankind would tip the balance of power forever. And very clearly, you have. How was our world created? To escape the eternal conflict, a group of renegade angels and demons came together and created a hidden paradise for themselves. They called this world Sanctuary. Eventually, they commingled. They gave birth to mankind. That is why you have both good and evil within you, and the power of both realms as your birthright. The power of your Nephilim ancestors was so terrifying to their parents that they tuned the world stone to weaken them. They knew they had loosed something unimaginable upon creation. Our fight 
nears its end. This war will never end for me. Even if we defeat all evil forever, I will carry the scars of this nightmare till the end of my days. But you have reunited with your daughter. I wish Leah could have the life I never had. But in truth, I fear she'll be damned as well. And yet, I've never seen anyone who is as much a stranger to fear as you, Adria. There's all the conversations with Adria. Yep. I remember standing before the Prophet. My life hung by a thread. But he... He healed me of my sisters. He was a mage? No, not precisely. I do not know what his true nature was. Only that he possessed great power. He said we had done well to slay the demons. He was very kind. When we had recovered, he offered to train us further. You agreed? Yes. I owe him my life. Slaying the Lords of Hell would please him. It is the least I can do. The men look to you to lead them. When they see you laying waste to the demon hordes, they are heartened. As you go, so does this battle. Always remember that. You should give some thought to taking time for yourself, Cento. You can save the world tomorrow. Stay with us tonight. I'll buy drinks. We'll dance. I cannot. It is unseemly. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I really did. I know I don't have enough money, but what was it? 30k for the next one, okay. We'll check our friend Shen here. you're wearing you may as well uh, say what you're thinking I know you are not what you appear to be but we are in the midst of battle and you are idle so you cannot be a warrior and why not people can be anything they want I say the only limitation is time and I've been alive for many years is that it you do not age as the rest of us do you become so serious about such things. You will grow old long before your time. Wouldn't you be happier to live like me? I think I know this voice actor too, but I'm not 100% sure. You're going out there? Yes. Uh, make sure you bundle up, huh? Uh, you should probably wear an extra layer or two. You can never be warm enough, I always say. Yet you wear the same thing wherever you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, it's quite simple. <laughs> I just tuck a few fire opals in my pockets and under my shirts, and I never get cold. As good as a pair of long underwear. Interesting. Alright, uh, where exactly am I going? <clears throat> Area gate. The keep is secure. Our fight continues in the battlefield where Asmodan's war machines rain death on our soldiers. All right. up that way I just have to check of course the scent of battle saturates the air this is where we truly belong if 
feels good to be on the battle. Thank the gods you're here. You've got to destroy those ballistic. They're raining hell down upon us. We can't last much longer. Fortified bunker level one. Might as well check this. Many centuries ago, King Corsic built Bastion's Keep to pen the barbarian threat in the north. After years of military disasters, the frustrated king led a large army out of the fortress and into the north to conquer the barbarians once and for all. Not one of them came back. That was a worthy foe! Glorious! Oh, I was like, what the hell is that thing? It, my resurrected fucking plague swarm. <laughs> I don't see anything so far. This might just be a dead end or it might lead me to the floor too. So it says dead end. Consumes you. Okay. 
What? All is left. Let's see here. There's floor two. Of this fortified bunker. Which way I should go? Let's go this way first, I guess. This is probably a dead end of sorts down here. I mean, obviously, I know it doesn't lead the, the progressive path, but judging by the layout, I was right. Did I check this room? Apparently not. Not that it mattered. seen a real battle before this no many of them will meet their deaths because of that Fortified Bunker Level 2. <clears throat> Buckle Trophy. First time I've taken sustainable damage. That's only because I got hit by that fire blast, too. It's my way out. That was that. Let's head towards the uh, the quick travel out of here.
This is better for him. Quickly head to town. Just thinking, this is probably better than what I have. But then again, looking at it, it's not. I do more damage, or I get more damage with mine. Not even including the, uh, the intelligence boost on it. Back out. Nice try, fool. Though I have searched every corner of the great library of Chaldeum, I can find no references to the true fate of the Blood Clan Khazar. Some crumbling papers hint that they made a pact to serve the mythical lesser evils. But surely such a thing cannot be considered proper scholarship. Can it? We couldn't hold on. We were just too many. Men are losing hope. The demon's numbers seem endless. They come at all times, day or night. No amount of casualties we inflict slows their advance. We need reinforcements. We need help. Long ago, the heralds of pestilence were lesser demons who rebelled against Asmodan. The Lord of Sin vanquished them easily, but instead of slaying them, he granted each one a long arm. In You're too late. We will all perish. Long arm infested with the poison that could kill anything but Asmodon himself. The heralds have been plague riddled menaces ever since. Shout out to that guy for interrupting the fucking dialogue. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did level up too, so we might as well check out and see what I got. Let's roll impacts. Sanguine End, Poltergeist, yeah, let's be on our way. So they're basically landmines. Gotcha. That's the bridge right there. 